Introduction to Nursing Theory, Group 10 Presentation. Presenting our group, Jacqueline, Tony, Michelle, Cherry, Priyanka. Theory of Human Becoming by Rosemary Rizzo Pars. Origin of the Human Becoming Theory. The Human Becoming Theory by Rosemary Rizzo Pars holds the quality of life, should be approached from a personal perspective, and should be the guidance of nursing practice. It was established in 1981 and it was initially referred to as the man-living theory. However, the theory was later changed to the human becoming theory in 1992. It was criticized for the word man, as the theory makes several assumptions about man. Key conventions about humans include meaning, rhythmicity, and transcendence. About Rosemary Rizzo Pars, the theories. Schooled at Duquesne University in Pittsburgh, Master's in Nursing and Doctor in Philosophy from the University of Pittsburgh. Served as a Dean at Duquesne University and she is a nursing theorist. She was also a professor and coordinator of the Center for Nursing Research at Hunter College of the City of New York from 1983 to 1993. She was a professor of Niehoff Chair at Loyola University in Chicago. She was also a consultant and visiting scholar at New York University College of Nursing. She was the founder and editor to Nursing Science Quarterly, and she is the president of Discover International. Philosophical underpinning. The theory has its roots in principles and concepts developed in Martha Rogers' work. The theories also integrated concepts and principles from other scholars such as expressed by Heidegger, Sartre, and Merleau Pontry. The theory is based on Parr's experience in nursing, theoretical principles learned in human Major science. Major concepts of the theory. It was developed as a human science nursing theory. The goal of the human becoming theory is true presence with your patients. Pass refers to it as an art of nursing by developing dignity, leading and following, teaching, learning and mentoring with the end goal being to enhance the quality of your patients' lives. Pass 2007. It does not seek to fix problems as it does not use nursing process. The concept gives nurses the ability to see the patient's perspective. This allows the nurse to be with the patient and guide him or her toward the health goals. The nurse-patient relationship co-creates changing health patterns. Human becoming theory is a combination of these totally paradigm, biological, psychological, sociological, and spiritual. This combination centered around three themes, meaning human becoming is freely chosen personal meaning in situations, meaning through lived experiences, and the concept is valid in images and languages through speaking versus being silent and movement versus stillness. Rhythmicity. Human becoming is co-creating rhythmical, the connection between the human and universe being a mutual process with a sense of rhythms. Transcendence. Human becoming is co-transcending multidimensionally it refers to reaching out and beyond the limits a person sets and that one const constantly transforms. These three themes are permeated by four positive laits. Illimitability is the indivisible, unbounded knowing extended to infinity, the all at once remembering and prospecting with the moment. Paradox is an intricate rhythm expressed as a pattern preference. Paradoxes are not 
opposites to be reconciled or dilemmas to be overcome but rather live rhythms freedom is contextually constructed liberation people are free to continuously choose ways of being with their situations mystery is the unexplainable that which cannot be completed known it also includes the simultaneous paradigm which is man is a unitary being in continuous mutual interaction with the environment theory of human becoming the nursing model person defined as man as an open being who is more than and different from the total of the parts environment is everything in the person and his or her experiences it is inseparable from the person as well as evolving with the person health is the open process of being and becoming and involves the synthesis of values nursing must wholly be with the patient in order to care for them and assist them to health within their environment the human becoming theory makes the following assumptions about man from nursing theory the human is coexistent while co-constituting rhythmical pattern with the universe the human is open freely choosing meaning in a situation as well as bearing responsibility for decisions made the human is unitary continuously co-constituting patterns of relating the human is transcending multidimensionally with the possible the human becoming theory makes the following assumptions about becoming becoming is unitary with human living health becoming is a rhythmically co-constituting the human universe process becoming is the human pattern of relating value priorities becoming is an intersubjective process of transcending with the possible becoming is the unitary humans emerging nursing theory fundamental ideas about the theory assumptions the application of parsus theory in practice can result in significant improvements in the individual's well-being the emphasis is on the client's quality of life as observed and understood by their sense of experiences the human becoming school of thought which developed out of rosemary riso parsus 1970s human becoming theory and was published in 1981 as man living health a theory of nursing which specifically rooted in the human sciences meanings paradoxical rhythms and transcendence are three principles central to the theory's concepts these are linked to lived experiences the joys and sorrows of human coexistence and decisions on how to proceed in life nurses who follow the human being practice methodology live true presence with people in all kinds of situations witnessing their human dignity and offering their help in 2012 pars proposed a change in epistemology from studying lived experiences to studying living experiences in the light of a recent conceptualization of the evolving now being visible invisible human becoming research is about learning it's a never ending task to discover and absorb the essence of life's experiences nurses who follow the human becoming practice methodology practice true presence with people in all situations witnessing their human dignity and offering their help in co-creating quality of life as the individual sees it although certain cases are more difficult than others 
this technique can be used anywhere with anyone. One popular criticism is that the theory lacks biology and medicine and therefore cannot be applied in settings where these disciplines are the primary focus of treatment. In fact, this human science theory aids medical science by directing practice in a different area of knowledge. Parsis theory includes a symbol with three elements. The black and white colors represent the opposite paradox significant ontology of human becoming, while the green represents hope. The joining in the center of the symbol represents the co-created mutual human universe process at the ontological level in the nurse-patient process. The green and black swirls intertwining represent the human universe co-creation as an ongoing process of becoming. This theory have helped nurses and other healthcare workers define quality of life while considering ideas such as hope, grieving, courage, and suffering. Theory of Human Becoming Philosophy Related to 21st Century Through the effort of Rosemary Parr scholars, the Human Becoming School of Thought will continue to emerge as a force in 21st century evolution of nursing science. Knowledge gained from the basic research study will be synthesized to explicate further the meaning of lived experiences. The finding from applied research projects related to evaluation of human becoming practice will be synthesized and conclusion drawn. This synthesis will guide decisions in creating the continuing vision for sciencing and living the art of human becoming school of thought. We have created a case scenario using this theory of Rosemary Pars which is human becoming, and here it is. Mr. Bernardino, 82-year-old male, living with COPD for almost 20 years and currently living in a long-term care in Toronto. He had stopped smoking since he needed to use an oxygen continuously. He has 15 different kinds of medications due to his other underlying health conditions, such as hypertension, diabetes, anxiety, and other complications. Mr. Bernardino can decide for himself, and his twin sister Bernardina as his substitute decision maker. He frequently goes in the hospital due to exacerbation of COPD. One time, he complains of new severe pain in his mouth and throat. He also suffers with chronic pain which is the back pain and lately with generalized pain which cannot be managed despite adjustments of pain medications. Mr. Bernardino is having difficulty swallowing and even cries whenever he swallows even just a crush medications and even water. Eventually, he is no longer able to swallow his medications and any oral intake. Also, he declined to be transferred in the hospital and wishes to die in the home. Bernardina is not agreeable with her brother's decision. However, having a care conference with a multidisciplinary team, his sister eventually agreed of what her brother wishes for himself. Palliative care and comfort measures only was then in place. Quote, quality of life is the dying, in the dying patient is always taken into account when planning care for that patient. Parsis' theory of human becoming runs parallel to this belief, stating that quality of life should be measured by the person living the experience. Quote by Solana and Hatching, 2002. In this case scenario, we identified two main problems. First, chronic pain and the palliative care. This is the nursing interventions and rationale using our theory. First, the chronic pain. Our assessments 
we should ask Mr. Bernardino to describe pain, as only the patient know the description of his pain, whether it is physiological, psychological, or situational factors. Also, we should be aware of Mr. Bernardino's life situation, has been having difficulty breathing and suffers pain for a long period. As an intervention, we should listen to Mr. Bernardino whenever he talks and whenever he calls the bell, despite he does not need any assistance but just wants someone to talk to. Pain can be improved by listening to the patient. When we listen to Mr. Bernardino, we gather and it will be an ongoing assessment and treatment can be developed according to his perspective. When we genuinely listen, patients feel closer and trust us. By Muhammad 2019. Next is palliative care. Assessment. We should assess a patient's psychological, emotional, social cultural, and spiritual needs, including depression and anxiety assessment. Also, we have to assess patient's social-cultural needs, different perceptions such as values and beliefs about dying and death. We would listen more than talk, which can tolerate and manage the client's own emotions, strengthen the provider's patient relationship, improves the patient's and family ability to plan and cope, and supports the patient's and family emotionally as well. As an intervention for palliative care, asking the patient and family if they have considered or would like an access to spiritual or cultural leaders, spiritual or religious counseling, worship, or other similar activities in the end of life period. Discussing with the patient about the cultural, religious, or other rituals they would like to take place at or the following person's death and ensuring these are recorded at the person's care plan. Taking the time to listen to the patient and their family speak about their feelings and beliefs about culture, spiritually and death if they wish to do so over or by just staying and listening to the patient and family can be a good intervention. This is our client goals for chronic pain and palliative care. Mr. Bernardino will be able to experience a holistic free of discomfort, biological, physio, psycho, social, spiritually approach. Mr. Bernardino will be able to demonstrate an acceptance of death by having his health care wishes and values and beliefs wishes. Our nursing evaluation. Mr. Bernardino is now free of any discomfort by exhibiting no shortness of breath, restlessness, anxiety, able to sleep, and able to verbalize tolerable pain of 2 out of 10 scale. Mr. Bernardino requested to have a priest for his last rites and was able to assist with his funeral arrangement.